Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we're making pesto hummus. Y'all, this hummus is totally addictive and easy to make. It works great as a dip for chips or pita points or veggies, but you can also use it as a spread for sandwiches or wraps. And all that you need to make it are a few ingredients and your blender or your food processor. Let's do it. Start with a 15 ounce can of chickpeas, but wait, don't dump that can into your colander. Instead, drain the chickpea liquid into a separate cup because we are going to use it to add some moisture to the hummus and some rich creaminess that's gonna help us cut back on the amount of oil that you need. Set the liquid aside and then add your chickpeas to the blender along with a loosely packed half cup of fresh basil, two tablespoons of cashews or pine nuts if you're fancy, a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. The nutritional yeast in this recipe is optional. It kind of gives the finished product that sort of underlying cheesiness that you would expect from a conventional pesto, but if you can't find it or don't want to use it, just leave it out. It's still delicious without it. Then add a couple of cloves of garlic to the blender. Then add a quarter cup of the liquid that you drained off from those chickpeas, but save the rest of the liquid because you might need it later. Now it's time to blend. You wanna puree this pesto until it reaches the consistency that you want. As you can see, I went with a chunkier texture of hummus, but if you want this to be a creamy result, you can totally get that. You just have to keep blending. I recommend not blending for more than about a minute at a time. And in between one minute blending sessions, you wanna use a spoon or a rubber spatula to just scrape down the sides of your blender or your food processor so that anything that just kinda of jumped away from the blades gets back down there and gets blended up. Depending on the texture that you want, depending on whether or not you use the nutritional yeast, depending on your chickpeas, you may need a little bit of additional liquid to reach the consistency that you're going for. If you need to do that, just add more of the chickpea liquid, one tablespoon at a time. So add, blend, add, blend, until you reach the consistency that you're going for. At the end of the blending process, season it to taste with salt and pepper and you are ready to serve. As you can see, I'm serving it up as a dip here with veggies and pita points. But like I said earlier, it also works great as a spread for sandwiches or wraps. Anywhere a little bit of decadent basil-y goodness would work, throw this hummus in there. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make pesto hummus. If you have any questions that I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I am always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking!